Evil Guys. What up, guys? This is Evil Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on Sable's Grimoire. This game was published by Gamuzumi and it was developed by Zetsobu Games. Huge shout out to Gamuzumi for finally releasing some games on Xbox. They had recently started releasing some visual novels on PlayStation and I had told them I had hoped they would start releasing on Xbox soon because ultimately they have some pretty easy platinum trophies and now some easy 1000 gamer score. Now in the beginning it's going to give you a content warning. Make sure to enable the mature content because if you don't have it enabled you can't get all of the achievements. Other than that we're going to go to the options. You want to go down to the tech speed and auto forward time. Max those out. You want to go to skip behavior all text. After choices, keep skipping. Again, make sure the mature content is enabled. And you can also enable bad ending hints. Now, first and foremost, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the written guide I used to make this video guide. I found it in the Steam forums. It's an achievement guide for the Steam version. It was created by a person named Lilat. So, shouts out to them for making this guide. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below if you prefer a text guide. Otherwise, I'm going to guide you guys through getting the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy here in this video. Now you want to press RB to start fast forwarding and then with our first option, we're going to go ahead and select the top one. It isn't broken. After that, continue to fast forward. And for the next dialogue choice, we want to choose the top option, make something up. And for the next one, we're going to choose grab the beast's attention and act as bait. Now, once you get to the next dialogue choice, what we want to do is we want to press start and we're going to save our game in slot 1. It's important you follow along with the save slots because this is how we're going to go back and load into certain save situations so that we can get other achievements. Now select the top option to pair with Draken. After that we're going to continue to fast forward and in the next option you want to choose the top one. It says cafeteria. And the next one we're going to be choosing, that isn't my only punishment, it's the top option. And then we're going to choose accept, the top option once again. After that you're going to choose the top option, sense escape. And then we're going to choose only for extremely powerful spells, the very bottom option. And then the very bottom option once again, not all female only species. And that's going to unlock our first achievement called Nerd Worth 25 Gamer Score. And then after that, you want to choose the bottom option, learn about Demi Human Social Studies, continue to fast forward. And for the next one, we're going to choose the top option, maybe once this bangle has been removed. And for the next one, we're going to choose Help Leisha to search for the coin, the top option, and then grab something quick. The top option. Then search via terminal, the top option once again. And then next we're going to choose observe the ether flowing around it, the top option. After that we're going to select check out the dungeon, the bottom option, and then confront iris, top option. After that, we're going to choose walk straight up to them, the bottom option. And then something brand new and flashy. That's going to be the top option. After that, you want to select accept the principal's proposal. That is the top option. It's going to unlock the next achievement called no longer a student. 
for accepting Ian's offer to accelerate your education. After that, you want to press start and save your game once again. Make sure to save it into save slot 2 because as I mentioned before, I'm going to be referring back to these save slots later. After you save it in slot 2, we're going to get back to the game and this time we're going to choose invite Draken to join the hunt. It's going to be the middle option. After you choose that, we're going to continue to fast forward. You may need to press RB to continue fast forwarding. And then next, you want to choose humans are arrogant and prideful. It's going to be the top option. And then you want to answer honestly. It's going to be the top option once again. And after some more fast forwarding, we're going to end up selecting defend Iris. The top option. After that, we're going to choose do as Alicia says. Just going to need to fast forward a bit. Some of the fast forwarding gaps are longer than others. Choose the top option, do as Alicia says. Rather than cutting out these different, you know, fast forwarding times, I decided I'm going to keep them in there. That way you guys are going at the same pace as I am. Next, we're going to choose, I'll think about it, the top option. And then I was responsible for tracking the top option. After you select that, we're going to need to save our game once again. You're going to want to make sure that you save it in the third slot, as I'll be referring to this slot later. Make sure you save it in the third slot. After you save your game in slot three, we're going to go back and we're going to choose to eat with Draken, the top option. This is going to unlock our next achievement called Indirect Kiss for sharing an indirect kiss with Draken. That one's going to be worth 25 gamer score. Continue to fast forward and then once the next dialogue option pops up, we're going to save our game once again. So press start and we're going to save our game into slot 4. After you save it into slot 4, we're going to go back and we're going to choose the option that says combine my knowledge with Draken's raw power going to be the top option. After that, you're going to choose remove the magical artifact from my wrist. It's going to be the top option. This is going to unlock our next achievement called unrestrained power for breaking free from the magical artifact that's binding you. It's worth 25 gamer score. Continue to fast forward and once we get to our next dialogue option, we're going to choose to ask her the top option. Then choose Ask Ray, the top option. And then after that, we're going to save our game for the fifth time. So we want to make sure to go to save slot 5. Once you reach the next dialogue point, you can press start and save your game. Again, just make sure that you put it into save 5 or save slot 5. You're going to need to press RB to change to the next save page. Make sure you save it into slot 5. We're going to go back and we're going to choose I am your friend, the top option. This is going to unlock another achievement called best friend for acting like a true friend to someone in need. It's going to be worth another 25 gamer score. At this point, we're going to continue to fast forward. And once we get to the next dialogue option, we're going to save our game once again this time into save slot 6. So press start, press RB to get onto the second page if you're not already there, and save your game into slot 6. After this we're going to head back to the game and choose I don't want to stop seeing Draken, the bottom option. And then after that we're going to continue to fast forward, you may need to press RB to continue. And for the next one we're going to choose examine the residual ether one more time, the top option. This is going to unlock three achievements, starting off with the Novice Teleporter achievement for dabbling in the art of teleportation. We're also going to unlock an achievement called Dragon Harem for unwittingly walking down a strange path alongside Dragonkind. And then the third achievement is called Draken Heart for completing Draken's route. There we go. We unlocked all three of those. Now what we need to do is go back and load up a couple of those saves to get some of the missable achievements. We're going to start off with loading up save 6. So go to load and again we're loading up save slot 6. 
and this time we're going to choose the option that would have basically given you a bad ending at that point in time. After you choose the sixth slot, you're going to choose I just want a normal life. It's going to be the top option. That's going to unlock an achievement called Father of Many for living out your days as a dragon's treasure. There we go. That one's worth another 25 gamer score. Now, we have to load up a couple more times before we go into our next route. The next save slot we want to load up is load save 5. And you want to choose friends are overrated anyway, the bottom option. This is going to unlock another achievement or trophy. This one's called a better place for helping Draken to find a place where she belongs. There we go. That's worth another 25G. And next we're going to load up uh, save slot 4. So go back to page 1, select the 4th slot, and this time we're going to choose the police can handle this themselves, the bottom option. This is going to unlock our next achievement called Crime Always Pays for attempting to stop a violent crime unsuccessfully. That one's worth another 25 gamer score. Now we're going to be on to Leisha's route. What we want to do is we want to load up save 3, again that save slot 3, and then this time we're going to pick up Leisha and Narm bottom option after that you want to show Ray the meaning of romance that's going to be the top option after that you should unlock the Casanova achievement for showing Ray the meaning of romance worth another 25 gamer score Alright, so next what we need to do is save our game. This time we're going to save our game in the 7th slot. So go to page 2 and save it in slot 7. And next we want to choose the middle option to take on the Dark Elf alone. And that's going to end the game unlocking our next achievement. This one's called Rooted, worth 25 gamer score for dying at the hands of the Dark Elf. Alright, so press continue and we're going to go load it up and load up save slot 7 once again. And this time we're going to choose the bottom option, which is to run away. This is for another bad ending. So choose to run away, press fast forward, and then continue. You're going to unlock the starvation achievement for dying of starvation. That's worth another 25 gamer score. So just go down, press continue, go back to load, and load up save slot 7 once again. And this time we're going to choose the top option, which is to disrupt the spell. Continue to fast forward. You're going to unlock our next achievement called Survivor, worth 25 gamer score for surviving your first encounter with the Dark Elf. You should also unlock the History of Man and Elf achievement or trophy for finishing reading or to finish reading Ian's book. After that, we're going to end up choosing the bottom option. I'll put Leisha in a trance instead. Again, that's the bottom option. And press RB to continue to fast forward. Once the game ends, we should unlock two achievements. The first one's called The Truth for learning the truth about Bartholomew. And then the Alicia Heart achievement for completing Alicia's route. That's going to be worth another 25 gamer score. And next, we're going to be starting our third route, which is going to be Tix's route or Tix's route. It's kind of hard to say. Anyhow, we're going to load up uh, save slot one. So load up your first save, and this time we're going to choose Pair with Ticks. That's going to be the bottom option. After that, continue to fast forward using the RB button. And for the next one, we're going to choose the top one, Cafeteria.
continue to fast forward. And for our next dialogue option, we're going to be choosing that isn't my only punishment. That's going to be the top option. After that, we're going to choose decline, which is going to be the bottom option. And then we want to learn about demohuman social studies, the very bottom option. After that, you want to choose maybe once this bangle has been removed, the top option. And then help Leisha to search for the coin, top option. After that, we're going to choose to grab something quick, the top option. And then we want to search via terminal, the top option. After that, you want to observe the ether flowing around it, the top option. And then we want to order something easy, the top option once again. After that, we want to confront Iris, top option. And then we want to walk straight up to them, the bottom option. And then we're going to do uh, something brand new and flashy, the top option. Then we want to remain normal first year student or remain a normal first year student. Sorry, that's going to be the bottom option. That should unlock our next achievement or trophy called rock on for giving life to earth and stone. Worth another 25 gamer score. Now we don't need to save it quite yet. We're going to choose stay put the top option and then we're going to choose humans are arrogant and prideful the very top option and then after that we're going to choose to answer honestly the top option and then after that we're going to choose to defend iris just gotta wait for it to fast forward a while another big fast forward gap defend iris again that's top option And then we want to talk to the classmates. That is going to be the bottom option. Now, once we get to the next dialogue choice, we want to press start and we're going to save it once again, but this time we're going to save it in slot eight. So go to the second uh, save page and save in slot eight. And next we're going to choose go with ticks, the top option. After that, we're going to continue to fast forward. And next, we're going to choose to ask Leisha. That is going to be the top option. This is going to trigger our next achievement or trophy called Drill Instructor for whipping that greenhorn pixie into shape. There we go. That one's worth 30 gamer score. They're mixing it up. Once you get to the next dialogue choice, we're going to press start and we're going to save our game once again. This time, we're going to save our game in slot 9. So press RB to go to the third page and save it in slot nine. After that, we're going to select stop ticks from leaving. And then next we're going to choose to play tough. That's going to be the top option. And then next we're going to choose to suggest lying, the top option. This is going to basically finish ticks' story and it's going to trigger our next three achievements. We still need to go back and get some uh, missable achievements in her route, but we're going to get the endings right here. This is going to trigger the beta male achievement or 30 gamer score for resisting Tix's seduction until the end. And then we're going to unlock another one called Sable's Travels for brave the perils of a forest filled with pixies. <laughs> and then finally the Tix heart achievement for completing Tix's route. All right, so we gotta go back and load up save nine. And this time we have to choose one of the bad endings and that will unlock the separate ways achievement. So this time we're gonna choose to let her go. And that's going to trigger that ending and it will uh, trigger the separate ways achievement or trophy for letting Tix's fate take its course. Okay, so next we need to work on ETH and Ray's routes 
we can actually load up save eight and go from there. So load up save slot eight and you wanna choose wait for ETH and Ray to finish class. That's going to be the bottom option. And this is going to trigger three achievements. It should start popping right here. There we go. That's the first one called sexy question mark for enduring the advances of two demo human girls at once. And then the next one is called Twister, worth 25 gamer score for challenging the master of flexibility. And then the third one is going to be called Sable Sensei for tutoring the most hopeless students you can find. And then you want to choose the top option, keep being yourself, but tone it down. That's going to unlock the camping achievement worth 25 gamer score for spending a night alone with two demo human girls. And it's also going to unlock the human like me achievement or trophy for finishing training seal in human affairs. There we go. There's that. Okay. So next we're going to choose find ETH. That's going to be the bottom option. And after you select it, we're going to go ahead and save our game once again, but this time we're going to save it in slot 10. So just let it continue to fast forward. And once you get to the next dialogue choice, go ahead and save your game. Again, we're going for slot 10 this time. After that, we're going to exit back to the game. And this time we're going to choose stay with ETH. That's going to be the top option. And that's going to unlock the achievement or trophy for completing ETH's route. And that's the ETH heart achievement. They won't pop until you press continue if you haven't noticed already. So you need to go down and make sure you press continue uh, for it to end the game and uh, give you that ending. So yeah, that's the achievement or trophy for completing Ethis route. And next what we need to do is load up save 10. So load up the 10th slot. And this time we're going to choose the bottom option, go find Ray. This is going to give us the achievement or trophy for completing Ray's route. That achievement or trophy is called new life. And again, it's for completing Ray's route. It's worth another 25 gamer score. Now at this point, the only person that we still have a route left for is Joru. Joru. I'm just gonna call him Joru. Uh, basically, we need to load up save slot two. So load up the second save slot, and we're going to choose the top option. Recommend that Draken doesn't join the hunt. After that, we're gonna choose the top option. Humans are arrogant and prideful. And then you want to answer honestly, the top option. And then you want to defend Iris. That's going to be the top option once again. And next we want to choose do as Leisha says. It's going to be the top option. And then I was responsible for tracking. That is going to be the top option. After that, we need to go ahead and visit the library, the top option once again. And then you want to choose definitely the top option. All right, so we're going to have two achievements or trophies trigger right here. The first one should be called Mankind's Dark Side. It's worth 25 gamer score. It's for seeing yourself the evils committed by man seeing for yourself the evils committed by man sorry and the second one is called rehab for aiding in a student's rehabilitation we're going to choose the top option ask joru about her experience and then once you get to the next dialogue choice what we want to do is press start and save our game once again this time we're going to save it in slot 11 on the third page we've almost used all of our slots i think you only have like 12 or so Next, we're gonna choose I really was just sleeping, the bottom option. That's gonna unlock an achievement or trophy called White Lie for lying in order to spare Joru's feelings. It's worth another 25 gamer score. Next, you want to choose the top option, follow Mira. And then we're going to choose to confess, the top option. This is going to unlock an achievement called an unlikely love 
or finding love in an unexpected place. Once you get to the next dialogue choice, we can go ahead and save our game and we're going to save it into the last slot, which is going to be save slot 12. So press start, go to slot 12 and save it. After that, we're gonna go back to the game and we're going to choose I'll take care of Jeru, very bottom option. That's gonna unlock another achievement or trophy. This one's called the road to recovery for helping one of your friends to get to the help she needs, even if she doesn't want it. All right, there we go. That is another achievement worth 25 gamer score. At this point, we just need to load up three more saves and we should be good to go. You wanna load up save 11. After you load up save 11, you're going to choose the top option, I've been avoiding you. This is going to trigger another achievement called Ice Woman, worth 25 gamer score, for incurring the wrath of a Yuki Ona. Next, we're going to load up save 12. That is going to be the last save slot on the third page. And then choose Jeru should be free, the top option. This is going to unlock the Joanne achievement for helping Jeru to transform into a new person. I think that one is worth another 25 gamer score. Yep. All right, so we should only have one achievement or trophy left, guys. Next, you want to load up the 12th save slot once again, but this time we're going to choose the middle option. Jeru must remain underground. That's going to trigger our final achievement or trophy called Committed for betraying your friend's trust and having her committed against her will. There we go, guys. That's going to give us the full 1,000 gamer score or platinum trophy. If you guys missed anything, um, not too sure what to tell you, maybe go back and look at the written guide to get the achievement that you're looking for. But you should have the full 1000 gamer score as long as you are following along. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.